Item three, receipt of notices, communications, hearings, and petitions. This is the part of the meeting where the public may address the board. If there is someone who would like to do so, please approach the podium. And uh, approach the podium, state your name, and if available, provide your written comments or contact information on Karen Sinais after you have spoken. So I see Greg Rich would like to speak, so the floor is yours. Thank you. So as uh, Karen Anderson mentioned, my name is Craig Rich. I'm a full-time tenured faculty member here at the College of Lake County. I am also the president of the College of Lake County Federation of Teachers. Dear members of the board, on behalf of the faculty, I'm here today to express grave concern over the action you are being asked to take this evening, the dismissal of a full-time tenured faculty member. We believe the justification for this action is flawed and the process leading up to this action has been unfair. The union was told that the justification for this dismissal is programmatic, specifically the closing of the architectural technology career program. However, the affected faculty member in this area, Mr. David Petrulis, was not only hired to teach architectural technology, but was hired to teach computer-aided design, CAD, as well. It states this in his job description. His job title is Instructor, Architectural Technology, slash CAD. So, how can the college justify dismissing this faculty member when one of the two programs in which he was hired to teach still exists? The union has asked this question, but we have not received a clear answer. Regarding the process leading up to this action, on January 24, Fourth, the union received a memo from Dr. Haney stating that the Architectural Technology Career ATC program would be terminated and that Mr. Petrulis would be, quote, released from employment at the end of the 2017-18 academic year as a result of the closing of the ATC program, end quote. The memo also asked us to respond in 10 days if, quote, the union wishes to bargain this matter, end quote. We responded in eight days and asked Dr. Haney to please cease and desist from taking any further action on this issue until the parties have fully bargained. In addition, we requested information needed to bargain on Mr. Petrulli's behalf. After 19 days, we had not received any information. I called Dr. Haney's office on the morning of February 20th. Late that afternoon, the reunion received another memo. This memo did not contain the information we had requested, but instead stated that the dismissal was moving forward to the board on February 27th. We were stunned by this memo. Why was the union not being allowed to bargain on behalf of Mr. Petrulis? When we asked the administration this question, we were told that according to Illinois labor law, the union would be allowed to bargain on behalf of the affected faculty member after the dismissal was issued. The January 24 memo led us to believe we'd have the opportunity to bargain this matter before any action was taken. That did not happen. In closing, I ask you, why is the College of Lake County dismissing a tenured faculty member who has dedicated 14 years to this institution, its mission, and its students, and is still qualified to teach in at least one other program? Why was the union not allowed to bargain this matter before it came to the board? What impact will the decision have on the institution? And what message will it send to its employees, its tenured, its students, and the community? As you consider this action to dismiss a full-time tenured faculty member, if you share the same questions as concer and concerns as we do, then I entreat you to vote no on this resolution. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Greg. Yes. Yes. Anyone else wants to speak? Uh, David Jules. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. My name is David Petrulis. Um, thank you to the board for letting me speak here. Uh, having an opportunity to address the board. Um, I believe the two issues that I'm here for is regarding termination of the architecture program uh, as well as my termination of employment. 
I immensely enjoyed my time here being a part of EMPS division and the CLC community as a whole, as well as reaching out to the Lake County community. I have served on many committees, uh, some of those being including the Master Planning Committee, Standards Committee, Curriculum Commission, Facilities Committee, among many others. And I've had the opportunity to work with many of those in the room here as well as some of the board members, and I've enjoyed that opportunity. For 14 years, I have advised the Architecture Club here on campus, providing many opportunities for those interested in going into architecture. And what I don't have here is that one of the more rewarding parts of that was students would actually invite uh, family, uh, other family members and friends, uh, sometimes as birthday uh, presents. Um, the good news is that maintaining an architecture program here at the College of Lake County was supported by architects of the Career Advisory Committee and professionals who contracted with the College of Lake County as they provided shadowing opportunities, internship opportunities, and even hired several of our uh, students, uh, which I believe some of you in the room are probably familiar with. Uh, they've asked me not to mention their names, though. As an academic institution, a community partner, and a resource for disadvantaged students who would like to enter a very demanding profession, I believe it is unfortunate that the College of Lake County has decided that architecture has no place here in our institution. Personally, my reward has been to inspire students to realize their potential and ability to achieve their goals of being a part of the design and construction industry and improving their quality of life. And we have had many successes. Regarding my termination, I simply ask as a matter of decency to address what the opportunities are for us to resolve this situation that would benefit all parties. The CLC community, students, as well as my own welfare. As I do not know what information the board has at this time, I think that I should say it is that I believe there is a fair resolution and opportunity for me to maintain my status as a tenured faculty with courses that I'm able to teach at this time. As well, I would hope that my students and peers uh, would benefit from the 14 years of my being a part of this institution. The many committees and organizations I've supported and my ability as an instructor that has helped to inspire many students to reach for goals they were unsure of and to become successful in pursuing advanced education and other career goals. I have always enjoyed being a part of this community and hope to be able to maintain my status here at the College of Lake County and look forward to many more productive years. Uh, thank you again for this opportunity. I respectfully request uh, your consideration in supporting my continued tenure here at the College of Lake County. Thank you. Um, and I, I don't know how this works exactly for order. I do have a student that did come to uh, say someone's too, if that's okay. Okay, right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to speak. Uh, my name is Christopher Andrusco. Uh, in January of 2016, I decided to pursue an associate's degree in the uh, computer-aided design program. I graduated in May of last year, and I currently work as a CAD designer for a life safety company. Uh, a, large, a large part of my education included classes with David. Uh, I was provided a multitude of opportunities, which came my way as I was earning this degree, thanks to David. Uh, he provided me with information about upcoming projects and provided me with information about companies to contact through this journey. Uh, he even met with me outside of class time to uh, help me grasp the concepts that I was struggling to understand. And even now, as a graduate, as I continue my career, someone I continually rely on uh, for career advice. Uh, thanks to David and his instruction, I was able to put together a solid portfolio during my time here as I was pursuing my education. And I was actually able to land an internship at a structural engineering firm. 
uh, after the internship ended, I found myself continuing my education here and continuing to send out resumes. And before I graduated, I had two full-time job offers. Uh, one of them was a direct result uh, as a contact uh, between David and I. And I was actually able to get the exact salary I was requesting. It is exceedingly rare to find a professor who understands the needs of their students, both in the classroom and in the workplace. As a community college, it's CLC's responsibility to hold on to professors like this. David has helped create opportunities that were previously unimaginable for students like me. And I know there's a lot of others in the community who would benefit from David's teaching. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Certainly. I'm going to take one quick uh, moment to thank you all for all the cultural events that I've attended for many years at this college. Uh, the price has always been extremely reasonable and the uh, selection has been really learned. All right, I'm here for something a little bit different that you're not expecting. I would like a little bit of your cooperation and help and um, I want that question answered so very briefly and I want to leave quickly after this. I had been boarding on the bus, the PACE system, which services the College of Lake County, and I did not know that the information I began was inaccurate, so I got here an hour before a bus could take me back to Bernie. And I thought the college was closed, it was winter, it was cold. I left a package either on the bus or between the two entrances that would be closest to the PACE bus route. It was a Saturday night, January 27th, and the Forum Theater was um, performing. So after about 20 minutes, I went inside of the college, and what I'd like to find out is the question, is it true that you do not have any videotape on the outside of the college? Because I called the, I called the PD uh, the Monday after that Saturday, and I would like to have found out whether the bus driver who was going out of service did not check the bus for packages and he drove off. According to Pace, no package was turned in to lost and found or at the college. Could you leave your information to Karen here and then uh, we'll get back to you and we'll do an internal investigation to see if we have anything that would help you? Okay. It also would be more significant, probably I wouldn't be able to blow the video, but I would be able to determine whether it was left outside or inside. It would have definitely been inside near the James Lumber Cultural Center. And we'll, we'll look into that. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. And then for that gentleman, I hope that the uh, God blesses the college and brings the architectural program back. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Thank you very much. Any other comments from the public? I want to thank you all for coming and uh, have a, on, on the, the board appreciates the comments and concerns of the faculty. On behalf of the board, I want to say that I know that discussions have already started between the administration and the union about whether there may be another position at the college which is appropriate for the faculty member affected by the closure of the architect, architecture technology program. And I anticipate the board will be updated as to the status and progress of those discussions as they occur. So yes, we've taken your, this matter to heart and we will be working on trying to find a resolution. And I thank you all for coming.